Welcome to Art with Miss Allen, with me, Miss Allen. On this channel, we will be drawing and coloring, cutting and gluing, painting, and doing a lot of other fun art activities that we can make together at home. I cannot wait to make art with you. Hey guys, it's Miss Allen. I thought today we could do something that I like to call a boredom buster. We are going to be doing an abstract scribble art. And so it looks a lot like this when we'll get done. Um, obviously, yours is going to look different than mine, but that's okay because this is your artwork and it'll be great. Um, but we're going to make some scribbles and then we're going to use um, all of our coloring skills to get this completely filled in. It's going to be a lot of fun, very easy, so let's get started. For this project, you're going to need something to draw with, a pencil or a marker. I'm going to use a marker probably. You're going to need something to color with and you're going to need a piece of paper. Not too hard of a project today, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So for your paper, all I want you to think about is you're going to do a very big loopy line. And when I say loopy, I mean the line is going to go in circles and curve and bend and all kinds of crazy stuff. I want you to start at one corner of your paper and you are going to go all the way across to the other corner. Okay, here we go. So, I went all the way across. You can see I've made myself some spaces here. So, all of the empty spaces need to be colored in with a crayon. Now that can be kind of tricky for some of my younger learners, but what I want you to do is kind of pretend this is a coloring sheet, right? So this lovely circle here is completely closed off. That's one I'm going to color in. So once I get that colored in, I can move on. Maybe this space is, this space that's closed off is blue. And I'm just gonna keep doing that until the whole paper is covered. So once you have all of the spaces covered, you notice you have two big spaces left. You have the one that's going over top or under, and then you have the other one that's on either side. So like these two lines that went from corner to corner, it divides the paper in half really. And so you have an outside piece on this side and an outside piece on that side. Pick two colors for those. So I'm going to try to pick colors that I didn't use a lot of. So probably this green and maybe this, hmm, maybe an orange. I think orange would look good. So I'm going to do a, I'm going to do my green on this side and my orange on this side. cool um, so obviously we talked about this at the beginning but this is abstract because it doesn't really look like anything you can turn it any way that you want to and it will still be finished artwork but it's a really good little project when you need to relax or when you're just trying to not be bored this is a good project for that because it takes up some time but I hope you had fun and I'll see you later <laughs> 